What is going on, guys? And welcome back to another Cartoon Conspiracy Theory with your host, as always, K-Mac Time. And now, today I have a very special theory about a movie that's actually one of my personal favorites from my childhood, and that is on the original Ice Age. Now, this movie came out March 15th, 2002, so I was around 9 or 10 years old, and I really, really enjoyed this movie. And I enjoyed the characters, you know, Sid the Sloth and Manny, it was all the stuff. I loved the acting, the voice acting was great, and of course, the spin-offs with uh, the squirrel were hilarious, and I did not know this but the movie actually got four movie sequels to date with another one scheduled for release in 2022 titled the adventures of buck wild so i'm gonna have to check that one out as well and catch up on those sequels there's also been a load 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 of spin-off movies or little shorts they've done they've done a couple of animated stuff for television as well but i've never seen those but today we're here to talk about a theory and this theory comes to me from the subreddit uh, fan theories and the reddit user now here a lad so shout out to them go to give them some love over on uh, that uh, subreddit but anyway let's jump right into today's theory so if you're unfamiliar with the original ice age and what the movie is actually about a quick rundown just a quick synopsis of it is said the sloth and Manny the mammoth run across an Inuit child who is separated from his family I believe his mother actually dies in the movie anyway they try to catch up with the humans and to deliver the baby back to them uh, they run into all kinds of crazy adventures along the way and they learn about themselves all that kind of feel-good stuff you would expect from an animated movie but according to this theory there is actually an incredibly dark deep hidden moment that is just right in front of everyone's eyes but you don't really think about it you don't really catch it i know i didn't when i first watched this even though i was only 10 it obviously went over my head but i never really thought about it and it's just so simple and it's so telling and it's going to give some a lot of deeper meaning to some of these characters so what do i mean here well, later in the movie, we are actually seeing this scene where they're in the group is in a cave. Uh, there's several cave paintings left by the, the humans here. And uh, Sid and, and Diego and the other characters actually learn about Manny's dark past and how his previous interactions with the Neanderthal hunters in which they slaughtered his family, including his wife and his child. It's very depressing. And it made Manny into this depressed loner that we see in the movie. So what does his sadness have to do with anything? Well, if you think back to the very, very beginning of the movie and how these characters met, how Sid and Manny met. Well, they actually met because Sid was running away from these rhinos after stepping in their salad and he actually bumped into him, but we didn't really think about it at the time. He was just standing there. And where was he standing? On an edge of a cliff. It doesn't really explain what he was doing there, why he was there, or why he didn't hear them running up on him. You'd think he would hear two rhinos full sprint with Sid screaming for help along the way. You think he would notice, turn around, but no, he doesn't even notice him until Sid runs into him. Hey! Just pretend that I'm not here. Man, I wanted to hit him at full speed. That's okay, Frank. So if you think about what we learned throughout the film in that Manny is bitter and unforgiving due to losing his family from these hunters, it's not really surprising that he may be standing on the edge of this cliff. And like I said, he chose not to follow the herd and migrate north and stuff. He chose to be this loner, this person in isolation. He didn't want to do anything. He was sad. His, his deep sadness really fuels this character. So what if... And what if this gets really dark here? What if he was actually planning on jumping off of that cliff to commit suicide, to kill himself, and Sid just happened to interrupt at the perfect time to stop him? It's a pretty grim, 
dark moment for this what you know seemingly is lighthearted children's movie but it's something that you really think about here like like i said how did he not hear him coming what was he doing there he was by himself he doesn't really seem to have any other motivation or reason to be in that spot other than grieving so if this theory is true it gives an entirely different spin to this movie an even darker darker backstory to manny and what his tragic backstory is uh with the tragic loss of his wife and child uh just a crazy little fan theory for you guys i hope you guys enjoy it like i said check this out on sub the subreddit fan theories go give them some love um some fun stuff going on over there let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below do you guys think he was committing suicide do you think he was just grieving there do you think he had a different reason for being there or do you think this was all just kind of something that's in a children's movie and we're looking too far into it perhaps i'm not entirely sure but it makes sense to me let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below and uh thank you guys so much for watching today's video you guys do me a favor smash that like button and subscribe for more fan theories along with gaming videos on this channel i know they've been quite far and few between and i've been kind of busy with real life things lately but thank you guys all so much for sticking with me and sticking to this channel really do appreciate it like i said if you guys hit that like button and subscribe but until next time guys remember that it's always kmac time somewhere until then take it easy and peace out